Reball, it's your boy, Lanquay Warrior Kamau, and I am back with another video. And today I am going to be reading from this book right here. My little sister bought me, shout out to her. And the chart that I am going to be reading is called A Complimentary Gifts. Talking about the roads of men and women in marriage can stir up a lot of controversy. The idea of well-defined roads make many of us uncomfortable in this day and age, me included. What concerns me is that the, these discussions tend to focus on who gets to be in charge. But the Bible makes it clear that both husbands and wives are supposed to be looking out for each other's well-being, not concentrating on who has the power. That means a hus as a husband, I'm supposed to be doing everything for the good of my wife. Look at it another way. God is not only my father, he's also my spouse father. That means he's my father-in-law. That's a pretty heavy responsibility that motivates me to serve, not to figure out who's in charge. One of God's gifts to us is in marriage, is the idea of rose. That each of us brings something unique to the partnership. Putting all others first is never easy and it can be especially toxic in the context of marriage. And up close and personal day after day relationship and that kind of bond you can take a break from looking out for each other. Your spouse well-being is just as important to you as your own. Try to set aside to help you see how your partnership works. Take a look in the mirror and recall all the things you are good at in your career at home with the children. At church and around the neighborhood. Think about the things you love to do. Those things you are passionate about. Then think about the things you aren't so good at or that you never look forward to doing. Now take a moment to go through the exact same questions about your spouse. Do you see how you fit together? The picture that emerges will tell you a lot about your rows and how you can put each other first. Remember, above all, that your row and marriage is, your, is for your spouse benefit.